Update, Utah reportedly traded star Rudy Gobert shortly after this post. The Utah Jazz, one of the most successful regular season teams of the last few years, are currently having an especially weird off-season. When fans look at the moves the organization has made thus far, it's a bit hard to understand what the intentions are here. But it doesn't seem like they are making moves that satisfy their franchise cornerstone, Donovan Mitchell, very happy. ESPN's Brian Windhorst certainly suggested as much during a recent appearance on First Take. Additionally, recent social media activity from Mitchell may imply something similar. We don't know what will happen next, of course, but maybe a rebuild is on the horizon. Here are some of the reasons we may believe as much colon 1. Mitchell was not happy about news Quinn Snyder was leaving as coach Rob Gray USA Today Sports Mitchell was reportedly surprised and disappointed by the news that Quinn Snyder would no longer coach the organization. Snyder is the only head coach that Mitchell has had in the NBA and the news was likely legitimately surprising for the former Louisville star, writes Sandy Larson, via Salt Lake Tribute, Snyder and Mitchell had a good relationship, especially early in Mitchell's career. Both are hardcore basketball junkies who spent untold hours in the film room, dissecting the smallest nuances of plays and schemes. Snyder recognized and believed in Mitchell's talent from the get-go. I believe that Mitchell is disappointed and surprised that it got to this point. Mitchell may have wanted another year with Snyder in charge of the team, too. The Jazz did not hire Mitchell's preferred candidate to replace Snyder Rob Gray USA Today Sports One of the candidates to replace Snyder was Johnny Bryant, who had an interesting background. As I wrote last month, Bryant was likely Mitchell's pick to lead the team. Bryant played college basketball for the nearby Utah Utes until 2007. He was also an assistant for the Jazz from 2014 until 2020, and Mitchell's rapid development was Bryant's top priority during that span. The two had a great relationship during their time together with the team. But the Jazz instead hired Celtics assistant Will Hardy, who worked with new Utah executive Danny Ainge in Boston. 3. Mitchell's closest friends on the team are now no longer on the roster photo by Chris Gardner slash Giddy Images Donovan Mitchell grew up with Eric Paschel.